Ah, what the heck, man? Oh, that's my toe. Ow, okay. Uh, hold on. Ah, man, what is going on, boys? Now, take a good look at this. Here's one box right here. Now, give me a second. Oh, boy. There's a second box right here. Technically, it's supposed to be one box, but there's so much stuff that they had to put it in two separate ones whenever they shipped it. Because we have $5,000 worth of sports stuff in both of these boxes. I'm going to set this one aside first. We got our first one, which is the biggest one. We're going to open up this. Now, just to give everybody some context, this is a custom mystery box for me from Pristine Auction. You cannot get this mystery box if you tried, okay? Look, hear me out. I've been using Pristine Auction for the longest time. We did multiple videos with them. We had a $1,000 mystery box. We had a $2,500 mystery box. And now the big one, $5,000. And if you're wondering what Pristine Auction is, it's a website with a ton of different sports memorabilia. They don't only have football. They have basketball, baseball, hockey, well, you know, you name it, man. But you go on there, you bid on your favorite items. All the autographs are checked, so they're guaranteed to be 100% true. They give you a certificate of authenticity. I'll show you guys. I'm sure we're going to get some of those in here. And hey, last thing. Let me say this. Christmas, it's right around the corner. They could have the perfect gift for somebody. I highly recommend checking it out. And the great thing, I'm providing you guys with a link in the description. If you use that with my name, you get a free $5. A little hint on what I like to do is bid on items because you don't have to pay until you win. Wait until you snipe a really good item for cheap and then you take an extra $5 off of it. You can't really go wrong with it. Without wasting any more time, got the handy dandy knife. I'm about to slice this bad boy open. Nonetheless though, here we go. That was kind of cool, wasn't it? Let's get this bad boy open. Always like to pop the seal on this thing. Now we got so much stuff in our $2,500 mystery box. And considering this time is 5,000, we probably got twice as much stuff. Holy crap. Oh my goodness. Okay. How, whoa. How many jerseys are inside of here? I think this is an entire jersey box. Oh wait, there is something at the bottom also. Like its own separate mystery box possibly. Let's go ahead and just get into this. The first jersey on top. Do you guys see the certificate of authenticity right there? Oh yes, okay. It's a Mike Evans. One of the only good players on the Buccaneers. <laughs> you serious? But man, this jersey is clean. Now I don't think I want to be taking all of these out because it's just going to take forever. We got so much stuff. I will go ahead and just take this first one out just to show you guys. Let me go ahead let that focus so you guys can see it's the real deal. That's beautiful man i feel like i gained a new respect for the buccaneers uniform they're actually kind of sick this next one is going to be a throwback for anybody who knows who that guy is Maurice Jones Drew, probably one of the best Jaguar players of all time. I don't really know if that's saying much. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> I'm already breaking my rule. I'm sorry. I can't help myself. We need to check it. Anyways. Oh, yeah. Look, here it is. So number one, what we have is this, which is awesome. He added this extra stuff. 2011 NFL rushing leader. MJD certificate again. Let's let that bad boy focus. I'm holding it upside down. I'm an idiot. But there's the certificate. And then if that wasn't proof enough, we have a picture of him actually signing the jersey itself. By the way, there is a lot of other stuff. I'm sure that there is in the other mystery box. I didn't know what was in these things, so we opened this one up. It has a ton of jerseys in it. But if you're interested in the other stuff, the helmets, maybe footballs, they got random stuff on there, man. Make sure you guys stay tuned for this. Look at this. Anybody know number 17 for the Buffalo Bills? Josh Allen, baby. Bills are having a nice season. I called it in the beginning of the year. Then again, I was an idiot. I said the Bills are going to have a better record than the Saints. I didn't think the Saints were going to make the playoffs. So we're going to forget about that part. But honestly, one of the most underrated young quarterbacks in the league. I love this guy. Let's move on. Looks like an Atlanta Falcons jersey, number 84. Oh, this is Roddy White. Okay. So a lot of you younger guys might not know who these players are. Roddy White, one of the better Falcons receivers. Probably not as good as Julio Jones. And up next, this is a really nice autograph. Who is this? D'Angelo Hall, possibly? Yeah, no, that definitely is D'Angelo Hall, 23. Unless if I'm being dumb right now, I don't think that I am. Let me see it from all you Redskins fans out there. I feel like we don't have many of them. Okay, oh, I'm a little bit excited now with this next jersey. I'm getting nervous. I see Vikings, whenever I think Vikings, I think Culpepper, Moss, Adrian Peterson. Considering it's number 28, I think it's Adrian Peterson. Oh man, okay. It is Adrian Peterson. I am so hyped. Take a nice look at that. He autographed that thing up. Up next, love the look of this jersey. Who is this? Hey! Steve Smith, 100%, got to go down as one of the best Panthers of all time. Okay, got another big boy. I know who this is. This is our first thing, no, second ever Seahawks thing that we got. Marshawn Lynch, 
Obviously, he went to the Oakland Raiders. But for me and like everybody else, we remember him on the Seahawks the most. The beast mode run. Wow, that's awesome. Now, I'm a Steelers fan, so getting something Cleveland Browns doesn't really resonate too well. But man, you want to talk about nice autographs. Take a quick look at that. Nick Chubb, he put some time into his stuff. Ah, am I able to hang this up though? Probably not. But maybe, I don't know. Oh yeah, by the way, that reminds me. Last mystery box, we did it. I'm gonna be doing it again. We're giving away a random item over on the Instagram. I'm probably gonna pick a winner in like two or three weeks or so. I wanna give it to somebody that's deserving. Last time we gave away an Aaron Donald autographed jersey. And heck, you know what we'll do? We'll also go ahead and give away something on the YouTube channel. So name one item, just one item that you guys want from this. If you start naming multiple items, you're gonna get me confused and you're not gonna win. And that's gonna be for all you guys that don't have Instagram, obviously. I'm thinking of you. Last but not least, Alvin Kamara. Me and him have a personal relationship on some sort of way. I don't know if he liked me too much, but that is fine. I appreciate his autograph very much so. And that was the last jersey out of that. Now, there are still some other stuff we have. This little package right here. I'm really curious to see what the heck is inside of here. Maybe a coin of some sort. I don't know. I really can't guess. Oh. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is this? Oh, okay. <laughs> never mind. Never mind. Woo! I thought this is a Super Bowl ring. Wow, this is nice though. Look at that, the fantasy champion. All right, for everybody that's in my fantasy football league, this thing's going up next year. But now this kind of lets you guys know they have so much stuff on their website. It's not just jerseys and footballs. I was on there the other day. I seen an autographed Adam Thielen guitar. Now this is the last item in this box. What the heck is this? All right, let me take a sneak peek. Oh, little hint. I also made a video with him before. Oh, yes, it's autographed too. It's a canvas, a Tyree kill. Why the heck is it taped to the freaking box? I don't want to ruin it. Oh my gosh. You can't even say that doesn't look incredible. Such a cool item. Let's go. Okay, let me go ahead and move some of the stuff out of the way to make room for the next box. Here we go. Box number two here. Hopefully you can't see that. That's my address. If you show up, I stay strapped. Keep that in mind. I will shoot you. No, I'm just playing, but for real, don't show up at my house, though. It'd be greatly appreciated. Here we go. Three, two, one. Pop that sucker open. Ah, okay, that was kind of weak. Let's try it again. Three, two, one. Bam, baby. And so much more packaging. You have got to be kidding me. I see. Okay, there's a name on it. I see who it is. Spoiler alert. We have a full-size helmet. Oh, my goodness. What the heck is that? So, update. There are a lot more jerseys inside here. I see cleats, I see helmets, what the heck? I see other packages that are still wrapped up. I see an item in here right now, I'm shaking a little bit. It's Pittsburgh Steelers, it's another helmet. They hooked it up, they know I'm a Steelers fan. Oh my goodness, okay. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get this because I'm too excited, I cannot wait. Bum, 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 oh, oh, this is like a throwback helmet. Oh, no way. Okay, hold on, we gotta pop this sucker out of here. This thing is incredible. Why does it have so much weight to it? Oh, no way. No way. Look at that. The helmet is sick. Look at the face mask. They have black and yellow on it. This has got to be a very expensive helmet. This is a real helmet, one that you could actually wear. The other helmets that I got were replicas for display only, so you really couldn't wear these. This, though, on the other hand, I could strap up with this, and I could run some boys over. Will I do that, though? Yeah, probably. That is some crazy technology they got going on inside that. Oh, I cannot wait to put that on the back wall. By the way, everything in the back wall, if you could see any of it, 90% of this stuff is from Pristine Auction. I go on their website way too much. The heck is this? All right, I'm gonna save that for a minute. Let's go ahead and get a couple more jerseys out of the way. It seems like there's quite a few more inside of here. Xavier Howard, without a doubt, the best player on their team. Now up next, the heck is this? Yes, let's go! Oh, you guys won't even understand why I'm so hyped about this. All right, nobody else would get hyped about this besides me. Nobody. Like, this is just random. Possibly my favorite wide receiver to ever play. Nobody would ever guess it unless if you've seen it. You know who that is? No longer on the team. Current free agent, Dez Bryant. X-Factor, baby. Up next. Okay, answer this question right now before we get into it. Best jersey in the nfl right now go ahead hurry up put it in the comments there's one that comes to my mind right away and that is none other than the los angeles chargers number 13 we all know is keenan allen all right okay well that's disappointing he really dissed us like that with his autographs so you need a microscope to be able to see it how many more jerseys that we got in here holy crap there's three more up next throwback and current Deshaun Jackson. I know there's a lot of Eagles fans around here. I'm from Pittsburgh. I never would have guessed. I feel like we're getting stuff from every single team. I don't even know what team this is. 
Oh, okay, sick. This is another throwback. I actually really liked him whenever he played. How many more people do we have? Okay, this is the last one. San Francisco 49ers. Okay, this right here is insane. This is a grail light. Okay, so <laughs> who is the first person that comes to mind whenever I say San Francisco 49ers? And I'm talking about greatest players of all time. We, uh... We got somebody crazy down here, boys. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm holding this right now. Oh man, okay, I'm gonna slowly show it. Oh, you see that? You see that? This is Jerry Rice! Oh, look at that autograph. I cannot believe that we have acquired a Jerry Rice autograph. Everybody says greatest receiver of all time, possibly greatest player of all time. And we have his jersey sitting right here before us. Up next, after this, we have a box inside of a box. Oh, that's another jersey inside of here. It's green, so I'm guessing... Yep, that's Devontae Adams. Why the heck was this one in its own box? I don't get it. After that, another item here. I don't know why we got all these extra boxes. Holy crap, this is packaged inside of here, too. Okay, well, what the heck? the heck this is so random okay before i show the item take a look at that are you reading that this is not nfl it's a different sort of football this cleat is small as heck dude it's like the size of my hand we have an alex morgan signed soccer cleat that's something i didn't expect to get but i'm very happy to get it thank you okay let's continue this along here whoa this is heavy this is definitely the real deal too this thing weighs a ton number 82 three-time champs who the heck would ever thought we would have got an NFL pylon. Okay, man, we're getting pretty close to wrapping this. What the heck? I'm pretty sure all this stuff is from Pristine Auction, too. Holy crap. How much stuff did we get? That's mad. There's a whole nother one of these large boxes inside of here. What is going on? Okay, so there's a lot more stuff, actually. Another box. Let's slice it open. Don't worry, boys. I've only cut myself three times doing that. Up next, oh, you gave me the packing peanuts, dang it. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Oh, sick. Number one is going to be another Steeler item. 39. That's Minka, is it not? Is that Minka Fitzpatrick? Yep, that is 100% Minka Fitzpatrick. That's a very exciting item. For anybody that's a Steeler fan, you guys know. Could be the greatest trade that Pittsburgh's ever done in their franchise's history. Between him and TJ Watt, both going for player of the year. And then we got another Alex Morgan item. Tell me that this is autographed. This is a 100% autograph. Team USA, Alex Morgan jersey. I'm just gonna say it right now. This stuff really doesn't fit in, but I'm hyped that this stuff slipped in here. Now, last but not least, we have cleats in here. Okay, okay. This is what you get whenever you have a $5,000 mystery box. I've definitely been blessed. This gotta be size like 15. Okay, here it is. Answer me this question. Do you know who this autograph is? There's one there. There's another one right there. Hint, it's a quarterback. Initials AL. Kind of just retired this season. These are Andrew Luck. Autograph cleats. Oh yeah, they're definitely Andrew Luck. They smell like raw sewage. I think I'm going to save all this stuff for last. We have another big one of these boxes. Since it has a lot of weight like the other ones, I'm guessing it's going to be a bunch of jerseys inside of here. So we'll kind of fly through it if it is jerseys. New England Patriots, 87, Rob Gronkowski. Up next from the Colts, another Colts item for all you Colts fans. It's a T.Y. Hilton, one of the most underrated wide receivers in my opinion. Let's move it along. No way, cut it out. Don't hate on me. I know I'm a Steelers fan. We have an Ed Reed autograph here. Freaking love this, dude. Now, I'm going to take it to my grave that Troy Polamalu might have been a tad bit better. Yeah, that probably just caused a war down in the comments, but I love Ed Reed, man. And then we have a number 10 here. Is that Hopkins? That's DeAndre Hopkins. And I'm just throwing it by like he's some random wide receiver. This is DeAndre Hopkins. After that, up next, you guys seen it. Number 10, some more Tyreek Hill action up in here. I apologize that we're starting to speed through this a little bit. I just want to make sure I can get through everything. And then look at this. This is a number 99. I know the audio we've had it before Aaron Donald I actually like this jersey this is the newer jersey last time we had the St. Louis Rams and we gave that one away so hey if somebody wants this one too let me know dudes on my fantasy team okay there's a special place in my heart for you dang it I can't even see who this autograph is with the way it's packaged hold on looks like we got to open this up then all right okay so this is going to be a 
Khalil Mack? No way, I thought this was gonna be a Matt Forte jersey. Oh, that's a little bit more hype. Cut it out with this. Pristine auction. You guys are packing heat in this thing. Oh my. Okay, let's continue this along. It's a Nick Bosa now. We had the Jerry Rice. We have their current best player, in my humble opinion, Nick Bosa. The autograph's under the certificate. There we go. That's what the autograph looks like. That's what the back looks like. Gotta love it. And then one final jersey right here. This is my favorite jersey I've ever gotten. If anybody was paying attention, I mentioned him briefly. I actually do have one autograph of him that I got years ago at Steelers training camp. I was the most excited kid ever. Are you kidding me? You're gonna hook me up with a Troy Polamalu jersey. We have a mystery box inside of a mystery box. Now they do have these on their website. We have number 16 out of 75 mini helmet. I'm gonna let you guys go ahead and see this one first. We'll pull it out of the package. Looking like Buffalo Bills. I'm guessing it's gonna be Andre Reed. If I had to guess. I just put it the wrong way and I seen it first. And yep, all right, there we go. I was right. It's an Andre Reed. This is the last thing in this box. I'm trying to see if it says, oh crap. Okay, it does say something on here. Let's take a quick look at it. In demand autographs, elite football mystery box. I see helmets. I see jerseys. I see pictures. I see footballs. Either there's a big helmet inside here or there are multiple items. This has some potential to be a crazy box. There we go. Pretty excited. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, never mind. I thought that this was Jason Garrett at first glance. <laughs> I'll let you guys tell me who the heck that is. Started off with two pictures. There's a freaking helmet inside of here. Okay, I'm nervous. I'm so nervous. But before that, we have a jersey as well. Is this a Bo Jackson? They just casually threw in a Bo Jackson jersey for us. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's Bo Jackson. I might be very stupid. Feel free to let me know if I'm dumb. I don't know what percent of mystery boxes get a full-size replica helmet, but we hit on one. I'm gonna let you guys see it first again. We're going to do it in three, two, one, 49ers. Please be Jerry Rice. Please be Joe Montana. Wait a second. There's a football inside here too? The heck is this? What? Whoa. Shoot. Okay. They hooked this thing up. Oh yeah. By the way, if you get a mystery box like this and you don't know who the player is, they have a certification number on here. You can go ahead and look it up. Yeah. You see that right there? So if I wasn't such a lazy piece of crap, I could go ahead and look this up. I'm so nervous. We have a 49ers helmet. This thing is so clean. What the heck? There there's a mini helmet inside of this helmet. Now this right here, what I just got this, you can get off of their website, 100%. So before we look at this, by the way, we got a real helmet again. But before that, we have one more Denver Broncos mini helmet. It is assembled in Mexico. Man, I feel like I'm asking this way too often. Does anybody know who that is? All right, final one here. You guys taking a look at this? I feel very dumb. I got to look this up. Oh, okay, nice. I actually kind of feel bad that I don't know who this is. I made a video with him before. This is a Dante Pettis signed helmet. He's kind of fallen off a little bit in his second year, but he's super cool dude, man. I wish him the best of luck. Yeah, this is a jersey. This is Kenny Galladay. Let's go! Everybody, hear me out right now. Kenny Galladay is the next Calvin Johnson. I'm not just saying that because he's Lions. Calvin Johnson is Lions. This dude is a monster. The carry on Johnson. We got the two up and comers here for the Lions. I always get very excited. I don't know why whenever there's weight to these objects. Doesn't necessarily mean that it's better, but I like to tell myself that. So here we go. Final item. Unless there's somebody else knocks on the door. Um, okay, let's see what we got here. Oh, nice. Well, <laughs> That's kind of a weak item to end on. Okay, yeah. It's just gonna be a regular display case for a football. Okay, boys, we're gonna go ahead, wrap it up here. Do not forget, over my Instagram, yo boy pizza official. We're gonna be giving away one random item that you guys want. Just keep commenting stuff. I'm gonna try to find somebody that I really think deserves it. And then don't forget to comment an item also on this YouTube video. Drop a like if you'd like to see another one. One more huge thank you to Pristine Auction. These custom mystery boxes, they're they're mind blowing. So many of you guys have already taken advantage of the offer that they have. It's a free $5 to use on their website. You have nothing to lose. If you wanna click the top link in this video's description, you go ahead and check out their website. One other quick thing to note, all of their jerseys are meant to display. I wanna make that clear. By default, they all come in size XL to be able to fit into a frame and they're just not meant to be worn. I'm your boy Pizza, thank you so much for watching. With that said, you're the best, God bless. Don't forget to keep it first, boys. Y'all already know, we'll see you later. Peace.